obviously you guys settled in and played really well down the stretch yesterday. I'm curious, like early on in the game, um, I think they hit a big pass play on each of those three scoring possessions in the first half. What you kind of take me through, you know, what happened on those communication issues or just sort of what, what allowed them to to get off to a good start? Um, yeah, I mean, we had some few communication issues. Um, I don't know. We just, uh, I feel like we just kind of played sloppy in the first half. Um, you know, and that those led to big plays. I mean, even though we did pretty good on third down, the ones they had on third down were, you know, for the most part, big plays. And, you know, you can't, I want our, you know, team goals were, what defensive goals were to eliminate the, the passing game, you know, the big plays in the passing game. And, you know, we didn't do that. Uh, we gave up like five explosives. So, um, anytime you do that, it's going to be hard to, hard to win. Uh, you know, Nico Collins is a great receiver. And I want to say he went nine catches for 191, something like that. And, you know, three of those catches was like for 151. So, you know, you can, you can never win like that. You know, we're going to put ourselves in a big hole. And, and that's what we did. I mean, we kind of dug out of it a little bit, but, you know, we didn't do it just enough to win the game. So, um, yeah, we just can't do that. Zach Stevens. Hey, PJ, kind of on the flip side, and you kind of talked about at the end that the, the defense did step up in the second half. Can you take us through uh, the back-to-back -back plays where Vance brought you uh, and you get the tackle for the loss in the sack? Can you take us through those? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, the formation allowed me to blitz, and, you know, I really don't have a job. I don't, I don't really have, like, just a, a set assignment when I'm blitzing. You know, I'm just going, you know, having contain off the edge uh, for those particular plays. And, you know, I kind of just read the play, processed the play as I, as I blitz and, you know, came up with, you know, a TFL and then a sack. So, uh, you know, that's what that was. Chris Thomason. Uh, yeah. Hey, hi, PJ. Um, I asked Lloyd this, so I'll ask you just how much does it help the resilience that you guys showed coming back from a one in five start now? down the stretch I mean it's only one loss but just how much the way you guys have been able to battle back does that help you guys down the stretch uh, I mean I guess you know just going through that type of adversity at the beginning of the season you've been through it you know how I felt you know the type the type of mentality you got to have to, to get out of that situation get out of that hole and um, you know we show fight in the game and Honestly, man, I'm 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 really not I'm not I'm really not worried. I, obviously, I'm disappointed that we lost. Um, you know, we ended the streak that we had, but I'm not I'm not worried by any means. Just because, like I said, we as bad as we played, and it still came down to game winning drive. Man, that's 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 amazing. You know, and those type of games when you you know minus three and takeaways, and you know those type of things is you know most of the time you getting you getting beat down. And just for it to come down to a game with a drive, man, and you know we were we were you know eight yards away from winning the game. That's that's huge, and you know the, all the things that we see on film, man, it's, it's correctable. And so I'm like I said, I'm not worried, man. I, I feel like we were heading in the right direction, and you know we get those things fixed up, we'll we'll be just fine. We'll be just fine. Last question, Brandon Crystal. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you two actually, little PJ. First, it's kind of going back to coming off the edge. When you're a, a pass rusher, you learn all the tricks of the trade. But is there an art to it or is it instinct? Because you're used to playing on the back end and, you know, chasing receivers and making plays in the run game. But is there is there something innate in being able to come off the edge and have success when you're a, a DB? Um, yeah, uh, I, I think it's, it's instincts. Um, it's, it's a will to do it. Uh, you know, most of the time you're, you're dealing with a tackle and sometimes, like, you can just beat them with speed. You can beat them with one little move for the most part. So, uh, it, it's a little bit of both. But, I mean, I wouldn't put too much crazy stock into it. <laughs> well, and, the, and then the other one, having a, a little bit of fun, I know it's obviously not as fun coming off a loss, but your Longhorns get into the playoff and you obviously have some Crimson Tide around there and – and other folks. So how surprised were you to see your alma mater get there and how excited are you to see them in the playoffs? Honestly, I'm, I'm glad to see them in the playoffs. Um, well, <laughs> I know around here that, uh, you know, Bama is, is talking a lot of crap right now, but I feel like, you know, if they let Bama in, they got to let Texas in. So, uh, you know, the head-to-head -head battles really, really matters to me at least. So 
I'm glad to see him in. And, uh, yeah, man, hopefully we, we go all the way and we possibly play Bama again. And, you know, it'll be like when Colt McCoy in those days when they played Bama and lost and get a little revenge tour right there. So <laughs> it'd be pretty awesome. PJ, thank you so much. Appreciate you taking the time. Man, thank you.